Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Builds. Welcome back to my channel. So it's, excuse me, it's Monday the 18th, 18th or 19th? One of them, man. My, ever since I started working, my days are off, but uh, it's Monday. And so I'm going to try to get some work done today on my brother-in-law's 2013 Softail Heritage, doing a, a renovation on everything, just changing the entire front fork system from the bars all the way down to the front wheel and then the rear wheel and some other stuff. But I'm in the beginning stages and I'm only able to work on it on Mondays. So I'm going to be out here for a few hours and try to get as much done as I can. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys are really enjoying my channel and, uh, Let's get started on this video. So I'm gonna replace these bushings that are in here. I'm gonna put some tape here to protect the uh, chrome. These actually weren't too bad. We're gonna we're gonna replace these. So there's some there's some rust all inside of there. I'm gonna clean that up real quick. So I have these round brushes that I bought. You know, you could use them for anything. You could use them to clean your guns, the barrels in your guns. real good too I think I mentioned before that his bike was sitting outside and there was a lot of water um, just going down into all the all the crevices man and it was just causing all kinds of problems I think that's kind of the reason why one of his bearings Kind of went out. Grease and water don't really get along that well. <clears throat> See if these go in fairly easy. These have the sleeves on them already as well. There we go. Those went in pretty easy. Now we just gotta see if I can wiggle the bottom one out. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be easy to come out. This one's already wanting to come out. Push it up, get this one. Let me get this cleaned up a little bit. <clears throat> Gonna clean his lines, his uh, all his lines a little bit because they're a little kind of dirty. Just just to this point, and then I'll clean them after. I just want it. So we got those bushings in there. The riser's gonna look nice. Here was the old riser. You could see how it's just pretty messed up. And there's the new riser. You can see how the outside of this one was just totally pitted up. Look at that. Okay, I'm getting the riser on, guys. I'm actually gonna go back here, guys, so you guys can get a better look at what I'm doing. I think you can get a good look right there, right? Yeah. I 
in the gas tank because I don't have the I don't have the uh, I don't have the uh, forks in. That's why. It says to give these uh, bolts right here 25 to 35 foot pounds. So I got it on 30 and I'm giving it a little bit more. So the risers are on there now. Let's get the bars and see what the bars look like. gonna tighten these up because I'm not sure I'm not sure what uh, what position they're gonna be in I still have to I still have to figure that out So what I'll do is I'll just let this rest right there. So I'm not gonna put Loctite or anything on these because I'm not sure, I'm not sure where the, uh, the bars are gonna sit. And then I have to leave all the cables and everything off of it to do the fall away when I put the forks in the front wheel back on. I haven't ordered the front wheel, man. That's been a challenge because it's just been a challenge. I think they're starting to sink in, right? Uh-oh, move it over a little. I didn't want it that tight. I needed to move them over just a hair. Man, they're tight already. I like these clamps because they actually, the bars actually The bars actually sink right into it. So, all right, let me see how they feel. Cut this right there, and then this. I keep them away from the bars, right? Right here. So we can see what they look like. Let's see. Is that plug staying on there? Ah, look at that. Look at that protector. I love that. Just so I can take that off. These are just to protect the corners right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut these little guys off. So we don't have to, we don't have to deal with those. 
So these are just guards, protectors for right now when you're running everything through the bars. You know, all these are to make it easier to, to run the cables through the bars. And uh, I think that actually looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me, let me actually show you guys. So those are the bars. He wanted them narrow. He did not want wide bars because I think I mentioned before, they actually look really nice. So these are just the, the protectors. It's a five inch riser, just like he had on there. Those are the same height bars that were on his bike before. Um, he did not want the bars or the highway, the crash bar. He didn't want that to be past, I think 30, 30 or 31 inches. So that new highway bar, that's the same identical bar, just black is 30 inches, I believe. 30 or 30 and a half. And I think the bars are 30 or 30 and a half as well. So it's coming out pretty nice. I cannot wait to get the forks back in there. So I got the cowbells for his bike. I ended up getting the ones from Harley and they're, they're powder coated. I mean, they look okay. And you know, they're gonna go good with, with everything that he's got on here so far. So we got the triple tree on there. We got the risers in there. We got the brand new bushings. We got the new bars. And so we're gonna go ahead and do this today. And I'm gonna try to get the forks on the bike. So they sent um, Allen, I think they're T25s or T27s, stainless steel bolts, but I'm not sure if I wanna use these. I mean, these will work, but I like the original style a little more. So I like these style a little bit better because they have the bigger head on them and they actually lock where those don't. So I'm going to use the originals. I'm just going to clean these up a little bit. So I really don't have to put any Loctite on these guys, but I'm just going to do it. So these are three eighths and you don't have to go super, super tight on them. You don't want to strip them, but you want to, I just give them a nice little, so those look actually pretty good. Those look pretty good. Let me show you guys really quick. Those actually look pretty good. And then right up in here, everything's gonna remain chrome, you know, with the headlight. And I'm gonna put a new headlight on there for them, a day maker. And then I think the sides are gonna end up being chrome here. So it's gonna kind of be chrome here. And it's gonna be black on the top with all black handles. And I think, I don't know if we're gonna go chrome mirrors or black but the forks are definitely gonna be black. So I'm gonna take this highway bar off now so that I can uh, have room to, uh, to get all this stuff done. So I wanted to give you guys a quick peek at the highway bar and why he wants to change it. You can see it's, it's pretty bad. Like I said, the poor bike was sitting outside and uh, he actually wants to go he wants to go black anyway, so we're gonna change that baby out. So the bottom bolt and nut, they're both uh, 9 16 I'm gonna take those off really quick. So I started something new today, guys. I never liked just black coffee, right? I always had to have a little bit of cream in it. 
And so I'm uh, putting a little bit of coconut oil in there now and a little bit of uh, butter. And I'm actually uh, liking it a lot. So for you coffee drinkers out there, I don't know if you ever tried that before because all the guys at work drink it black. And uh, you know, they're manly men, as they say. So they laugh at me because they're like, oh, you're drinking a, a little coffee with your cream. And uh, I think they're hilarious, by the way. This, uh, this highway bar, you could see how it's already coming out here. So that means it's, it's original, but it's probably been banged around a little bit. So that's pretty common with a lot of the original ones because you never know what this bike, you know, went through. I'm not sure if my brother-in-law bought it brand new. These are all grade five bolts. I'm gonna swap all these out with new nuts and new bolts to a grade eight. He doesn't need these, these old bolts anymore. And the one on the top, the outside one, is going to be a 9 16 but I don't think the inside one is. I think it's a half inch. Yeah, they're both half inch. It feels so good to be back out here, man. I'm only, good to, I'm only out here like one day a week, and it feels so good to be back out here, man. So what I'm going to do right now is while I have, while I have the, uh, the bar off. I'm gonna clean up the frame a little bit. And here we go, guys. So, I don't even think this bar could be cleaned up. I don't think it can. I think it's pretty, pretty tore up. But I mean, if he wants it back, it's it's his. So I'm gonna clean this all this stuff up a little bit. I don't think you guys wanna sit here and watch me do this but i'm gonna try to just clean up stuff so that it looks you know a little bit better and uh clean up the frame no one's gonna really see down in here anyways but you know i just i like making stuff look like somebody's been there you know somebody's worked on it a little bit made it look a little bit better Clean up all the chrome, I'll clean all that stuff up after. But right now, I just kind of want to just clean stuff up. It's going to be a cleanup day for, you know, his bike. You know, like I said, it was parked outside in a, in a carport that leaks. And uh, poor bike, man, it's been outside for years. We're just going to try to make things look a little bit better. These lines are pretty bad. I might just change them for him probably get them at from work for a pretty decent price it's just that i gotta take the tank off to run these lines and all this stuff again so we'll see what he says i'll try to get him as clean as i can you know because i know he's gonna want his bike back pretty soon so he's not in a hurry for it but you know so let me get this highway bar back on there let's see let's see what the new one looks like first of all I'm going to take the plastic off, but I don't think I'm going to take all the, uh, the wrapping off of it. Take the corners off. So that's going to look pretty good. Let's see how it's going to go on. Oh yeah, see this is going to sit perfect in there. And I'm going to grab all new hardware for him really quick, so. All right guys, so I got all stainless steel and grade eight bolts. I had to do a combination, I'm getting rid of all that. I never put the same stuff on there, no matter what. I don't care what it looks like. I know a lot of people save bolts, but not me, not when it comes to putting them on a Harley. I don't ever wanna put the same bolts back on it and I won't go anything less than stainless steel or grade eight. So unfortunately, I got a combination of both right here, and that is what I'm gonna use. So what I try to do is I try to get the top one on first, which makes the most sense, right? So I'm going to put this through here, like so. 
to hold it. And then I'm going to get my washer and my nut. I put a, a regular washer back there before I put the uh, lock washer. And the reason why is because I don't want the lock washer digging in the metal, right? A lot of people put the lock washer against the metal and you don't want that. You don't want it digging against the metal. So that's on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my butt down so that I can get the, uh, I can get the bottom sections in. And of course you want them to go on the inside. Man, this one's fitting perfect. That one actually went in perfect. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna do something different right now. So I brought you guys down here with me so you can actually see what I'm doing down here. So what I'm doing is, so I got this chrome, right? And then I got this grade eight thick washer and I'm putting it on the outside, put it through right then i'm putting another grade 8 washer on that and then i'm putting a lock washer on it right and then i'm getting my bolt i mean my nut and putting my nut on it so this went in very very well by the way and so I'm gonna clean up all the oil that's down here too. Now that I have it like this, rather than getting the forks on and being in my face. I'll tighten the top first, and then I'll tighten up the bottom. I'm gonna get this back here, and then I'm going to get my half inch, and I'm going to tighten this baby up. That's not, that's not going anywhere. Get that out of there. And then now, we'll get you guys back down here so you can see me tighten these guys up. Pardon my head being in the way, I'll try to cut that all out. So these are 9 16 down here, right? And I finger tighten them until I can't tighten them anymore. So you don't have to, I'll actually tighten those up a little bit better when I get up. There we go. I got a, a bad left shoulder right now, guys. So I try to do everything with my right hand. That's not going anywhere. A little more on this one. And that also is not going anywhere, guys. So that is it, the crash bar is on. I don't wanna take the, the padding off because I don't want it to get all dinged up. But I really wanted you guys to see how nice it looks. Let's see if you guys can get. Let me cut this off a little bit so you guys can see. So that looks actually pretty good. That actually looks really, really good. And it's much narrower than what he had. I mean, this might be in the way of him putting his foot up there. I don't even know if he puts his feet up, but uh, that looks really, really freaking good. In fact, I think I'm just gonna, let me show you guys really quick. Those look really nice. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. That's gonna be a wrap for today's video. It's like 6.30 and I'm ready to go in the house and I'm tired and I took my time. I was able to get some stuff done, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys are interested in winning a Harley, I'm still doing 
my uh, giveaway. I still got the two bikes, the 09 Ultra Classic and the 2010 Street Glide, man. I'll put some posts up there if you're new to my channel. I decided to go 100 just to try to get this first giveaway done. I got 99 spots left at $75. I got six different color hats, two different color t-shirts for men and four different color t-shirts for women. You check them out on my website, jcustombuilds.com. Go check it out. Man, $75 can enter you in to win one of these beautiful bikes. I'm going to deliver it to your house anywhere within the lower 48. Other than that, you guys always remember to ride safe, take care in everything you do, and God bless. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Have a great evening. Mm -hmm.